Yep, it's the down to the data. Hey guys, sorry, we'll have to take this inside today. Something's going on with connections outside in the garden, but we've been able to make connection inside, so we're going to take it inside today. So it's going to be a very quick change. If you've got your weights or your tins of beans or your bottles of water ready, get them now and we will do a hit session, low impact, um, and we'll um, bring in some weights for you to make sure you've got a workout. So guys, just get yourselves ready. We're a little bit late. Sorry we had issues with internet outside and internet in here and getting data. So we've had to move it inside and switch it around a little bit. So guys, if you've got your weights or you've got tins of beans or bottles of water, please grab them now and we will get you set up with a hit session. So it's going to be high intensity, obviously, and um, going to take out the intervals. So it'll be high intensity exercise, but no breaks. So we keep you guys pumping and keep you guys moving. Um, I have been out for my run and it is actually quite nice out today, although you wouldn't think it is. But unfortunately, something's happening with connections outside of the house. So we've had to move it indoors today. Yeah. So grab your weights, guys. Get yourselves nice and warm. Get yourselves spread out. Yep, you will be doing a lot of squats and a lot of lunges and it's a leg workout tonight. So it's going to be a heavy day on the legs, but you'll be sitting there for most of the rest of the day. So you guys will be fine. Yeah. So nice and easy, guys. Move yourselves into the center of your room. Make sure you've got room either side of you. We'll do a quick warm up and then going to get you guys going. Yep. Nice and easy, guys. March up. Mr. Bob's on his way. He's just going to clean up the garden. Because when we were in the garden, we had to kind of shift it a little bit. Just bring it down so you can see the feet pumping. Easy, easy, guys. Yes, yeah, so it's all body weight today, yes? So you're going to get your press-ups for your hip. We're going to do mountain climbers for the core, yeah? Squats and lunges for the legs. And Mr. Bob's very happy that we have to move inside because now we have to bring in the weights as well, yeah? So nice and easy. Roll the shoulders back, guys. Remember, if you've got neighbours downstairs, you're going to do no jumping, yeah? It'll still be a very effective workout. Hey, what a Mr. B. Have we let our neighbours know? We have to tell our neighbours. So it'll be a nice, tough workout, guys. We're going to take out the intervals, like I said, so just pure hit. Yep. Nice and easy. Tap the heels, bicep curl. Let's get a body up, nice and warm. Can you see? We're definitely close in isolation. <laughs> Don't need much room. Three, two, chest press, push. Four, three, over the head, shoulder press, guys, up, up. Four, three, two, easy marching up guys. Roll the shoulders back. Four, three, two, lift the knees to the hip, up. Hip height, up. Four, three, two, heel, arms up. So guys, if you've just joined us, we've had to switch around the workout today. So we're still doing hip, full body, but no biometric moves, yeah? So we're taking out the intervals. So we're gonna flow from exercise to exercise, straight through. So you've escaped your military hit, which is what was planned for the little change of weather but we couldn't get an internet connection outside. So you've got to run back inside. Four, 
three, two, chest press. Four, shoulder press up. Four, three, elbows in, pec deck. Four, three, take the knee up to the front. Up, up, you should be getting a little bit warmer now guys, indoors or outdoors, you should be a little bit warmer. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, last round, heel kick, curl it up. Four, three, Two, chest press, push. Four, three, two, shoulder press, up. Four, three, two, elbows together. Eight more. Four, three, two, knee up. Four, three, two, easy march. So guys, I'm gonna get out of the way so you can properly see Bob and I instruct. Two feet shoulder apart. You know when you put the phone for the cup? I'll take the picture. I'll take the Two feet shoulder apart. I'll get it, I'll get it. Two feet shoulder apart. We'll find our stopwatch. No, that's my case. We'll find our stopwatch when we dashed in from the uh, kitchen. I will find it in a minute. Two feet shoulder apart, yes. You're going to start with 20. Four. Here it is. Here we go. We got it. We got it. <laughs> so, guys, you're going to do one minute on everything. No break. Yeah? So, you need your tins of beans or your weights at your feet. You're starting with squats. Four, three, two. Squat down. Drop. And up. So keep it nice and strong guys. Remember, it doesn't have to be fast, it has to be deep. I don't want short, sharp, whatever, yeah? No one's sitting on bar stools nowadays. You're deep in the couch, you're deep in the chair. Get the bum right down. Dig the heels to come right back up again, up. Keep it strong, get that bum right down. Keep it nice and strong guys. No, you're doing minutes. Keep going, yes, so I said a minute. No breaks, keep going. Deep, deep. So stay with Mr. UFD himself. Keep it strong, strong. If you guys stay with us, you'll be fit enough for Wales next February. Yes. Drop, drop, 10 seconds to go, guys. You're gonna move into your windmill, so your feet stay shoulder width apart. Yep. Working through the hamstrings to give the quads a break. Four, three, Two, opposite hand, opposite ankle. Yep. Yeah? So guys, the main thing is that your legs stay straight. We want to work the hamstrings and open up the lower back. Yep. Yeah? So arms are straight. Yep. Yeah? Your flexibility will determine how far you reach. And no point going for the ankle if that knee bends. We want to work the hamstrings, so ham, that hamstrings don't need to be straight. Legs need to be straight, yeah? Hamstrings run down the back of your thigh. This is where you want to feel it, alongside your lower back, yeah? So your opposite hand, opposite knee, shin or ankle, at the pace with Bob, yeah? It's a hit exercise, so we need to hit, we need to move, yeah? You've got 15 seconds, guys. Keep it nice and strong. Keep yourself strong. 10 seconds, and you're going down to the floor for your mountain climbers, so we're working straight into the core. Quads to hamstrings to core. We're coming up the body. Three, two, one. To the floor. Get yourself in position. Yeah? So your wrist directly under your shoulder. Yeah? Straight lines. Chest is between the hands. Thank you, Bob. Straight line. From the spine. Right down. Yeah? Your spine is straight. We want to keep it straight. Knees come into the chest. Doesn't have to be super fast. Bob's pace is perfect because his knee is coming right into his chest. Full extension on the leg. Making sure when we get tired, 
We don't transfer that weight up into the shoulders. Keep the shoulders back and down. Keep yourself nice and strong. Working deep into your core. You have 20 seconds to go. Keep it nice and strong, guys. Keep it nice and strong. Keep that form, keep that back flat. 10 seconds. You're gonna come, as you're standing up, I want you to take your weights in your hand. In three, two, one. Pick up your weights with your knees bent, shoulders back, elbows tight to your side, bicep curl, up and down. Remember guys, you're doing a minute. I want nothing heavier than three kilos for the guys. Not being sexist, but girls, you cannot do a minute properly with three kilos. Two kilos or less, so tins of beans are absolutely perfect, yeah? Making sure you get your full extension, yeah? Yep, you want full extension on the arm, yep. Not showing off, just showing you where you're working, yeah. So curl it right off. We want to get right into the belly of that arm, get a nice definition right to the front of the arm, yep. Right up, right down. You've got 10 seconds to go, guys. And you're going to take it over the head. Mind my beautiful lights, please, Mr. Bob. Over the head for your shoulder press. In three, two, one, up. Nice and strong, guys. Come on, keep it strong. Up, up. Up, up. Driving through. So now your body should be well warmed up, guys. We have come from the quads and the glutes through the hamstrings into your lower back, into your core, into your biceps, into your shoulders. Yeah? Keep it nice and strong. Keep it strong, guys. You've got 20 seconds. Two more standing, then we're back to the ground, guys. Keep it strong. 10 seconds. If you go sideways for me, please, Bob, for your next exercise. In five seconds. Four, three, hinge at the hip. Belly bone tight, roll up, yep. Pinch the shoulder blades together. So get that nice pinch on the shoulder blades. This is where we want to pinch. We want to keep this straight line that Bob has. Keep this here, soft bend in the knees. Pinch in here, this is where we're working, guys and girls. In here, right deep. So when we come back out in the summer, and we've all got our halter to neck tops on, this part's looking toned and sexy. Keep it nice and strong. Nice pinch, Bob. Great retraction. Keep it strong, guys. I've been very lazy today, so I can give the waves back. How are we doing, guys? Keep it going. 15 seconds, please, Bob. And you're going to stay in this position, guys. Yeah? So make sure, yeah, that your belly button's in nice and tight. We want to protect that lower back. Keep it fully supported. You five, four, Three, row up and hold. So get those elbows nice and high. This elbow's nice and high. Yes, Bob, into your kickback. So straight down, through the triceps. This is where we're working. This is where we want to feel it, yeah? You know that bingo, that bingo win you don't want to get, ladies. Push back, work deep into it. Just make sure you keep the arms, keep the wrists nice and straight. Keep it strong, strong. You're going down the floor after this, guys, and it's quite tough to go from this to press up. So triceps are your sister muscles in press ups, but we're blowing them out so we can work the chest a little bit harder. Yep. 15 seconds. Keep it nice and strong, guys. Five, four, bend your knees, take yourself down to the floor, drop the weights, out of the way, ready for your press-ups. Same as your mountain climbers, go. Wrist is directly over the shoulder, so you'll see Bob's chest is coming between his fingers, yeah? So Bob's chest between the fingers. Chin is in front of the fingers, yeah? Back is flat, belly button is tight. It's tough going, you're halfway through your minute, keep going. So dig from the heel of the hand, drive up. 
If you need to be on the knees, I want you to drop your knees, but keep that straight line through the spine. Yeah? Keep that head looking at the floor. You don't need to look up, you need to listen. Look at the floor. Keep that spine nice and straight. 15 seconds. Keep it strong, guys. You're going to stay here. You're staying on the floor, but we're going to flip over to our bums in three, two, one. If you can face forward, please, Bob. Excellent. Feet, legs out, legs out in front. Yeah? Nice and easy. Take up your prayer position. Hands together. Russian twist. Hands together. Nice and easy. Lean back. Pinch the shoulder blades. Side to side. That elbow touches the floor. Keep your midsection tight. Keep your head up. Looking at the ceiling. Keep the shoulder blades back. So you're pinching. We're working right through our midsection, guys. You're excellent work. Eight minutes, 30 seconds in, and you haven't taken a break. You're doing brilliant. Morning, Emma. Keep it going, nice and strong. Keep it going, guys. Keep it going, guys. You're nice and warm. This is what we want. We want to get this blood pumping on a Monday morning, ready for the week. Ten seconds. Five, four, three. Guys, take it down on the floor. Lie it right down. Hands in your temples. Bend your knees. Heels close to the bum. Crunch halfway up. Crunch it, so breathe out, pull in, that's it, Woo. nice out, breathe out, pull in, get that crunch, Four above, breathing out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, keep it nice and strong, keep that move guys, your heels are close to the bum, keep it strong, you got 30 seconds to go when you finish your first round, yeah, excellent, you're still with us, still breathing, still pumping, Still attacking this Monday morning. Let's go, 20 seconds. Keep it nice and strong, guys, keep it strong. Three, two, and one. Take yourself up to your standing position. Are we ready? Get your feet shoulder width apart. We are ready for round two. Three, two, and squat down. Keep it strong. Get that bum right down, guys. Stay with him. Pump. Look how deep it is. You're sitting in that chair. Tease the bum. Don't put the weight in the chair. Drop down, drop down, guys. Come on. This is easy for everybody to do. You do not need any adaptations for these exercises. Yeah? Right down, right up. If you have a knee injury, you know to do a half squat. If you have a back injury, you go as far as you can. But the deeper you go, the more you're going to stretch that lower back, the more you're going to recover that lower back. Yeah? Keep it strong, guys. You got 20 seconds. Keep yourself nice and strong. 15, guys. Stay with them. Keep those squats good. Remember, they don't have to be fast. They have to be continuous. They have to be deep. They have to be good. Yeah? You drive them from the heel. Take it back into your standing position. In three, two, one. Into your windmill. Let's go. Opposite hand, opposite knee. Shin or ankles, your flexibility, but to work the hamstrings and the lower back, we need to keep you up, up nice and straight. So those legs are nice and straight. Twist from the back, there's no bounce side to side. Both legs stay straight. The move comes from the waist, driving through your lower back, yeah? Dig into the heels, push the bum back, so you're working those hamstrings constantly. Keep it strong, guys. You got 20 seconds. Getting ready to take it down to the floor for your mountain climbers, guys. Get ready. In five, four, three, two, one. Knees to chest. Remember that positioning, guys. Wrist directly under the elbow, elbow under the shoulder. Shoulder blades, back and down the back. That spine is nice and straight. Digging the knee right into the chest. Remember, it doesn't have to be fast. You've got a minute, so it has to be good. Big moves, making sure that chest stays between the arms. So your chin should be ahead of your fingertips. You should be having your head right in front of your fingertips. 
All you need to do is look at the floor, guys, and listen. Keep that spine nice and straight. I can give a few waves back now. All I'm doing is talking. My vocal cords are getting a great workout this morning. Keep going, guys. Keep going. You're doing excellent. We got loads on the line this morning. Let's all work out together. So you can't quit. You can't let your workmate. You can't let your mate in Ireland down. Can't let your mate in Jamaica down. Yeah. We got Latvia. Everybody on board. Say Wales is in the house. We got them all there. Ready, guys. Five, four, three. Two, bend your knees, grab your weights, take yourself to your standing position. Shoulders back, belly tight, curl. Yes? Make sure those arms are nice and straight, nice and strong. Keep that body form good, yeah? Shoulder blades back, isolate the bicep. There is no swinging of the arms, no swinging of the weights. Definitely no swinging of the hips of the lower body. So your core is tight, stabilize the hips, soft bend the knees. As you can see, all this moving is Bob's elbow up and down. So you close the elbow, open it, that's all we want. Yes? Keep that midsection nice and tight. Keep that pelvic tucked under so the lower back supported. Nice and strong, 10 seconds. You've got this guys, three, two, shoulder press, push up. Keep it strong guys. It's all good. Just go with it guys, keep it strong, right up, right down. You couldn't have better demonstration than what Bob is showing you right now. Right up, right down. The core is tight, the body is solid. All we have is full, functional moves to the shoulders, guys. And your conscious contraction should be in the shoulders. Your conscious contraction means you should be conscious of where you're feeling the contraction. In the shoulders, right up, right down. 10 seconds. Getting ready for that roll for the back. Three, two, give me that hinge at the hip. Belly button tight, row up, row down. Remember, as before, if you've just joined us, pinch to those shoulder blades. You wanna pinch nice and strong. Get the elbow nice and high. Keep the belly button nice and tight. That secures the body, stabilizing you in that position. No bouncing, full, controlled moves. Right through that plane of motion, right up, right down. Bring that muscle and a joint right through the full range of movement. Up, up, keeping yourself fixed on that floor so you know your spine is straight and protected. Keep that belly button in nice and tight, guys. Keep it strong. We're with you all the way here, guys. A little bit mean, because Bob didn't know what was coming. I just threw it at him, and he's kind of gone with the flow, which I really appreciate. 15 seconds, guys. Keep it strong. Remember, from here, you're moving into your triceps. So you're going to roll up and keep those elbows nice and high. Three, two, one, elbows high, kick back. Excellent work, Bob. The pressure's on Bob, because he can't stop. He's gotta keep showing you guys what you're doing. He's with you all the way, are you with him? I know Linda is, I know Jackie is, I know Natalia is, I'm sure Michelle is. All the girls in Wales, Angela, Helen, Jan. Yes, you guys are all on, all doing it with us. This is excellent, guys. I feel like we don't have to wait in Wales to see you guys, we can see you now. 30 seconds, keep going. Twenty seconds guys, keep it nice and strong. Remember you're coming down to the floor for your last three. Keep it strong guys, I'm sure all our Zumba girls and guys are watching us and staying with us. This is when we come out of this, fitter and stronger, so we haven't lost everything that we gained. Three, two, Bend the knees, take yourself to the floor, drop your weights. Get ready for your press ups, guys. Remember, either on your knees or fold. Excellent work, Bob. Super strength, chew that core. Hold the core nice and strong. So you can see Bob's body is nice and straight from head. 
to heel. Yeah? Keeping it nice and strong, nice and straight. Yeah? Making sure the chest comes down between the hands. We do not want to damage those shoulders. So make sure that chin is always in front of your fingers. Remember guys, if you feel your form is, look, is going, get on those knees and continue. Take some of the pressure off the core. If your core can't stay in, you're dipping your lower back, you're wrong, drop down. There's no ego when you're the only person in the room. Three, two, one. Bring yourself forward, legs out straight. Ready for your Russian twist. Sit yourself up tall. Remember, if you've got tight hamstrings, lower back. Yeah, you need to bend your knees slightly. Yeah, keep that chest up. Shoulders are back. Making sure that elbow touches the floor. Remember guys, you're working through your obliques on your waist, your love handle area, yeah? So that's the area you wanna move. You're twisting through the waist. You are not just moving the elbows side to side. So twist through the waist. Keep it nice and strong. Work out nice and hard, guys. Come on, you've got 15 seconds. Keep that midsection tight, keep that twist good. Remember to always control your moves. Conscious of your contraction, so conscious where you should be feeling it. Three, two, nice and easy. Lie yourself down on the floor. Bend the knees, heels close to the bum. Hands in your temples, bring it up. Keeping yourself nice and strong, guys, come on. Breathe out, pull the belly button in. You're pressing that lower back into the floor. Remember to tuck the hips. Yeah? So you're bringing the bottom rib towards the hip. Yeah? Strong enough to come up. You come up if you're not. You still want to feel that pinch. So breathe out, pull in is your main move. If it's strong enough, it will lift you. If not, it won't. But you need to feel that pull in. Press that back to the floor. 20 seconds to go. Keep it going guys, 15 seconds, we got this, together we can do anything guys, you've got this, stay with him, you're getting ready to move into your final round, four, three, two, one, stand it up, are we good for one more round, you alright Mr. B, three, two, awesome work, squats, there's nothing stopping Mr. B today. Not even the wind, not the rain. Nothing stopping this man today. Keep it going, guys. Keep it strong. Get that hip right down. Drive from the heel to stand up. Keep it strong, guys. Keeping that form good. Remember, as we always say, form first, speed comes later. There's no point in doing... These at super high speed if that bum is not getting as deep as what Bob is, yeah? you got 15 seconds to go. So Linda, Adela, I want goblin squats. Get that bum as low as you can. This is your last round. Really drive from the heels. Get deep in those glutes. Four, three, two, one. Into your windmill. Push that bum back, legs straight. Open up that lower back. Remember guys, it's not a bounce side to side. The legs, both legs are always straight, yeah? You're twisting from the waist. Your flexibility will determine if the hand goes to the knee, the shin, or the ankles. Twist it out, guys. Keep it nice and strong. Hey, Kildare's in the house. Hi, Anne. Hi, Elaine. We've got everybody on board today. Hey, Aida. I was checking out your wedding photos the other day. Oh, it's been five years. Hey, Renu, keep it going nice and strong. We got all the gym goers in the house, all the Zumba goers in the house, all the Fitness Weekend crew in the house. One big family, 10 seconds, guys, keep it up. Get ready for your mountain climbers. Last minute on mountain climbers. Three, two, one, take yourself down, knees to chest. If you guys have done our classes before, you know these. Yes? So I want to see that head in front of the fingers, the chest between the hands, straight arms, straight lines everywhere. Straight line, right down the spine. Knees come right into the chest if you want that six pack. Keep it nice and strong. 
Keep yourself going. You've got 30 seconds, guys. Keep it nice and strong. You're coming to your standing position. Excellent work, guys. This is non-stop. I'm kind of jealous now because now I've got to go burn the same amount of calories as you guys. Excellent work. 15 seconds. 10. Keep it strong, guys. You've got this. Ready, guys. Five, four, three, two. Nice and easy. Stand it up. Take your weights with you. Roll the shoulders back. Let's go. Bicep curls, guys. Remember, as Bob has shown you, nothing on the body moves except that elbow. So shoulders back. Keep that pump. No swing. Remember, control your move, guys. There's no point in doing it any faster if everything in the body is not controlled or stabilized. We've got a stabilized trunk. You can see in Bob. He's not moving anything by the elbow. So his knees are slightly bent, lower body grounded. Tuck the pelvis under so the core is tight, stabilizing the body and holding it secure. Keep it nice and strong. 15 seconds, guys. Keep it nice and strong. Pump it up. Get ready for your shoulder press. Remember your stance is the same. Keep yourself nice and secure. Five, four, three. We move straight into your shoulder press, over the head. Remember guys, I want you conscious of that contraction. Conscious to feel it right through the shoulders. Right in the shoulders. Keep yourself nice and strong. Yeah, we are not leaning back. And the weights are slightly forward, so not directly over the head, yeah? We want to keep everything safe, functional and moving, yeah? You guys have come through the quads, hamstring, core, lower back. You've come through the biceps, you're now in the shoulders, you've come right up through the body, so your heart rate should be right up there. Your body temperature should be right up there. Yep. 20 seconds. You've asked the heart and demanded the heart to pump that blood down, and all of a sudden I ask you to pump the blood up. It's the best way to get that heart muscle nice and strong. Pump it up there. 10. Three, two, one, guys, nice and easy. Hinge from the hip, you need to keep that core tight. Ready for your rows. Little bend in the elbow, yeah? Remember, guys, keep yourself nice and strong. Keep that pinch. You want this pinch right through your shoulder blades. You've got that nice straight line. Tip of the head right through your spine. Keeping that midsection nice and tight, yeah? Keep yourself strong, guys. Keep that bend in the knee. Get the elbows nice and high so you get a good pinch the back of those shoulder blades when you want to work. You've never done a full body workout like this before, guys. Drive all the way through. 20 seconds. Come on. And keep it strong, guys. Remember, you're still breathing deep. Get that oxygen in. Keep it nice and strong, guys. Come on. 10 seconds. Three, two, keep those elbows up high, kick back, straight through the triceps, right down the back of the arm, for those who don't know, right into the back of the arm, ladies. To get rid of those bingo wings, remember, get a good squeeze, that arm needs to go straight and then in, a good squeeze on it at the end, don't just swing the weights aimlessly, feel it down the back of the arm, feel that squeeze right in the tricep where you need to feel it, down the back of the arm. The only place you should be feeling things now, yeah? Make sure that belly button is nice and tight. You can support that lower back. Don't let it feel the pressure. Knees are bent. Fifteen seconds, guys. Keep it nice and strong. Four. Three, two, get ready for your press-ups, guys. Take yourself down. Remember, you're nice and tired now, guys. If you need to go intermediate, intermediate, go intermediate. So knees on the floor. If you've got it, stay with Bob, but only if that back is not dipping. I want that core strong and tight. Drop through your chest. Drive to the heel of the hand. Bring yourself back up again. Making sure you see that that chin is still in front of the fingers. Yeah? 
Drop that chest down. Drive up. It's not fast. It's strong, guys. You drive up. Hold it at the top for a second if you need to. Drive from the heel of the hand up. Remember those triceps are knackered. The chest has to do all the work. It's extra tough. The core has to be tight. You've got 20 seconds, guys. Don't stop if you need to. Drop the level rather than stopping. Keep those lines nice and straight. 10 seconds. We get four good ones in. Nice and strong. Keep it nice and deep. You've got three, two, one. Bring it around onto that bum. Legs are straight. Slight bend if we've got lower back issues or tight hamstrings. Ready for your Russian twist. Ready? You're nearly there, Bob. You're nearly there. Twist to the waist. We're nearly there. Keep yourself strong, guys. You've got two minutes to go. Well, one minute, 50 seconds. Remember, guys, it's not arm side to side. The arms are moving because the waist is turning the full trunk of the body. Keep the head up so your spine is straight. Shoulders back. You know you've gone far enough when that elbow tucks in behind the back, touches the floor. If you're used to me, you know I'm very precise about touching that floor. Anybody sending videos better have those elbows on the floor. Keep it nice and strong, guys. 10 seconds and you're down to your final minute. This is excellent work, guys. Three, two, one. Nice and easy. Lie it down. Bend the knees. Heels close to the bum. Let's go. Crunch. Guys, do not let yourself down on this last minute. Remember, they're not fast. Crunch and down. Breathe out. Pull in. Get a good deep crunch through that core. Press that lower back into the floor. Decrease that space between the lower rib and the hip. That's what you're looking for. Belly button in, back to the floor. Breathe out, pull in tight. Excellent work, guys, excellent work. We have 30 seconds to the finish line. You can see it. Pull up. Keep it nice and strong. 20 seconds. I want you to stay on the floor when you're finished, guys. This has been an intense, tough workout. I want you to stay there, no getting up. Keep it nice and strong. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. Lie yourself on the floor, guys. Excellent work. Well done. Keep yourself nice and strong. How are we doing, Mr. B? Are you alive? Are the rest of you alive? Good workout? Nice and easy. Draw your knees into your chest. Curl yourself up, chin to chest. I want a full stretch to your spinal area. That's where I want you to feel it, guys. Keep it strong. Guys, thank you for staying with us on that one. That is a tough workout. Thank you, Mr. Bob, for driving them through it. Working out nice and hard, guys. That is how you want to start your day. That is how you want to start your week. No messing. There was no messing with that workout. Determination to go all the way through. He's alive, guys. So you're alive, yeah? Nice and gently, put both feet on the floor, guys, while you're there. Stay on the floor, right leg straight up in the air. Making sure the leg is straight, guys. We want to feel that stretch right through your hamstring. Your stretch is coming right here, yeah? So your flexibility is really individual, yeah? You only have your hands on your calf or on your feet if your leg is straight. If you're not flexible enough, Keep your hands on the back of your thigh, on your hamstring, just like Bob. Keep it nice and strong, guys. It's an excellent, excellent workout. Guys, you have worked right through the whole body today, in that 30 minutes, yeah? I will list your muscles for you, because I am so super proud that you guys stayed with it. And if Bob can do it, I know he is, he is extremely fit, but if Bob can do it, you know you guys can stay with him and do it. Even if you're dropping some of the levels, you're still moving for that 30 minutes. That's exactly what you want to do. You guys should be well proud of yourselves. Swap the legs, please. If you stayed on with us for 30 minutes of that workout, guys, you should be well proud. And you will feel it. You have worked right through the whole body today. Yeah? Some sneaky core ones in your press-ups and your mountain climbers that you don't think because it's not all down to ab crunches when it comes to the core and the abs. There's a lot more moves we can do. 
So just want that heart rate to come back down again, guys. I want you to regulate your heart, heart rate. I want you to take a deep breath in. We don't want to get up too fast and then get dizzy and hit the deck. Peripheral heart flow, which is working the muscles on the lower body and the upper body at the same time, is really intense on the heart, guys, but that is what we want to work. Get that heart muscle nice and strong, able to tell this virus where to go if it does decide to come and attack. Nice and easy. Drop the feet to the floor. Gently, guys, lie on your side for me. Just lie on your side. Hold yourself nice and strong. Take your arm under your, under your head. Lie yourself onto your like, bicep area. Take your top leg up, heel to bum. You want to feel the stretch through the quads. Three minutes of, three minutes of good squats is quite intense, guys. I'm sure your legs will be feeling it later. Yeah? So take it down. Make sure your knees are touching. Your legs are nice and straight. This is where you want to be feeling it, guys. You're going to get a shot of Bob's glutes now. Yeah? Get to check out Bob's booty. Nice and easy, guys. Relax that. Just simply roll over the far side. Come on, booty delicious. Roll over. Check out that juicy apple. Yeah? Keep the heels close to the... Keep your heels. Close, as close to the bum as you can. Yeah? Nice and easy, guys. Relax it. Turn it over and onto all fours, please. Keep yourself nice and strong. Sit yourself back onto your bum. Onto your bum. Bum onto your heels. Yeah. Reach the hands out in front, guys. You want to feel this in your lower back. So if your lower back is tight, it's going to be hard to keep the bum on the heels. Hard to reach the hands forward. So listen to your body. If you want to take that stretch all the way through the spine, tuck the chin to the chest. So guys, right now, your heart rate should be back to your resting heart rate. You should feel that the stress has come off the body. You've regulated the heart rate back down again. Keep your breathing nice and deep. One of the best signs of your fitness level, guys, is your recovery rate. So if you've recovered back to your resting heart rate or near enough as, you guys should be giving yourselves a pat on the back. You're fit. To stay with us in that exercises, you've got a high level of fitness, but also mental fitness, which is really important. It's so important to stay mentally strong and not give in at these moments, guys. Don't give in to any type of pressure. Nice and easy. Take yourself up onto your, onto your fall fours. Take your right leg forward. Place your weight onto your right thigh and take yourself standing nice and slowly. Guys, I want to give you guys a clap. But I want to give Mr. Bob a clap. What have we got there, right? Well done. We've got everybody on board. Oh. So guys, after this, it's super important. We always say it, that you get your nutrition into you. So guys, my best advice to everybody is to get some high protein in you after a workout like that. So I would say if you really want your carbs and your protein in one meal, you want to get one slice of brown bread, very little butter, and put yourself two poached eggs on top, bit of black pepper. You know, if you've got an avocado that's ripe and nice, it's better than the butter, and then you've got your full, proper, nutritious breakfast. Refuel the body, yeah? Eggs are always really good. Yeah, yeah. eggs are your superfood. They're my favorite food to go to. Hey, you have an omelette, throw some loads of vegetables in there, but make sure in the next half an hour, you are eating something. Before eating, you should be taking in five, five milliliters of water minimum. I know in all of that, 30 minutes, I, was, I know I was talking, I'm very conscious of it. I have drank 500 milliliters of water just to keep my throat dry, from, from getting dry which means you guys need to have that in your body right now. So set yourselves up, quick shower, 
your 500 mils of water, your omelettes, happy to send, it, send in your pictures. And guys, we forgot to announce last night our winner from our videos last week. And with her permission, I will post her flex is Miss Linda Fontaine. She stayed with Bob with all the high level exercises. We have proved to all the videos and her biceps are looking pumped and ready. She is chasing her goals and smashing them at the moment. So we will see you for your free Zumba class or Zumba Strong, whichever you prefer. So well done again to Linda Fontaine. So I'll pass you over to Bob now that he's got his breath back after all of that, guys. No, no. Um, guys, that was, um, that was really good. That's a good pump. I've got no idea who was on, who was watching, who was doing it. Because uh, uh, I can't Ireland. see a thing. Yeah, well, I can see it now, but I couldn't see it before. So, but well done. Um, you didn't get much warning, so hopefully you were able to grab <laughs> A couple of tins of beans or 500 milliliter bottles of water or any kind of weights that you're comfortable with. Remember, form first. So, um, you know, make sure that, um, for example, with the squats, heels remain flat, bumbles going down as far as you can put it and standing upright, etc. Bicep curls, elbows held at the, at the side, just move in there. Um, and likewise for all the exercises, form first. Okay, and just keep the consistency going. Hey, Wayne Martin's on board. Okay. How are we doing, Wayne? Yeah. Not a stage yeah. boy. What's also really important as well at this time, guys, is to try to get your eating right. Yeah, it's important to eat well, especially um, in this current situation that we're in, but not to overdo it. So yesterday, probably had a, quite a bit of chocolate, perhaps, but get back to normality now. Yeah, so as Adele said before, have a good, nutritious meal or breakfast. If you haven't had one already, drink plenty of water and uh, try to pace your day with some good, wholesome, home-cooked foods, which I guess it has to be now that all, most of the takeaways are closed down. Well, no, we can still do our Uber Eats, but guys, try okay. not to. Guys, there's very little that you can control right now, so instead of complaining about what you can't control, focus on what you can control right now. You can control it, you exercise. This gets you out of bed every day, so you're getting your lie in. You're not getting up like you normally do when you go to work. You are getting extra sleep. You get up, you get going. That's why we've chose 10 o'clock. So we allow people to still have that little bit of lie-in, but there's a reason to get out of bed, or we hope we give you a reason if you needed it to get out of bed, get going, pump you up for the day, and then you're fully in control of what you eat. So it's your choice as to whether you really, really want to get onto a healthy eating plan, get yourself healthy and fit so that you can fight such situations of what we're going through right now. And I think that's the main thing that people need to take control of nowadays. If you can control anything, you can control what you put in your mouth. So really it's your choice. So either you're, you're actually going to do it or you're not going to do it. It's totally your choice. If you want help, yeah, yeah I'm sure you're sweating. Guys, if you want help or advice with nutrition and what you should be eating or what you shouldn't be eating or if you've got a certain goal to go for. I know there's some of the guys that have done stage with me I can see on board today, which is awesome. Some of us are preparing for stage again. Um, and it's not, this is not interrupting us at all. I said it is, it is harder because we haven't got our big weights in the gym, but we can still keep our nutrition on track. So when we get back into the gyms, the muscle will come back very quickly. But what you've done today, I will list, but you have literally worked every muscle in the body. So you have had a full cardiovascular blitz along with a full toning blitz. And if you haven't got the big weights, you can do that intensity with the small weights that Bob has just demonstrated and keep your muscles. Yep. So guys, have an awesome day. Go get yourself fused as we, advise, as we advise. And tonight's lower leg workout, for those who are concerned that we didn't list banded workout, tonight's lower leg workout will be with the bands. But if you haven't got bands, you can still do it. Have a great day, guys. Bye. Take care, guys.